Probably the most requested thing in my comment section is for me to explain the slapping thumb technique so often used by John Mayer. In my video Top 10 John Mayer Fingerstyle Songs there were numerous songs using that particular technique like Who Says, Stop This Train, Heart of Life, Dear Marie, etc. I will break this technique down from the most fundamental thing to the point where you can use this technique in every occasion you want, even in your own songs. Assuming you're not a complete beginner who hasn't got their basics down, you can learn this technique. It's difficult, sure. But with a good practice routine, I'm 100% positive you can learn to play like this. Depending on your overall skill level, some will pick it up in a few hours, and others a few weeks or even longer. And it's your choice to stop practicing, but more so it's your choice to learn it. Here we go. For this exercise, we're starting off with the opening chord of two songs, a D sus2. Both stop the strain and who says start with this chord. It's just a D chord played with the bottom string open. So here are your tuning notes. Not just kidding. So we start off with playing the D string together with the B string and feeling comfortable playing these notes simultaneously. And please note the position of my thumb. It needs to be in front of your fingers, not like this, but like this. And you hit the string with the side of your thumb. Not with the front of your thumb. After these two notes the magic happens. We play the G string with our index finger hitting the string from top to bottom. While slapping the thumb between the D and the A string. And this is the key to that particular technique. So I know in a lot of videos they are talking about flicking your index finger, but that's not the way I'm teaching you to play like this. Just hold your index finger like a hook and then you turn your wrist slightly when you go down. So you hold your thumb and your index finger in a fixed position and you make a slap whilst turning your wrist. And whilst doing that, your index finger is gonna move downward as well. So this is the hardest part. This is the part you should practice. It's important for your thumb to play the slap below the strings you are hitting next, so you don't have to change positions again. So for this chord I'm slapping between the A and the D string, so I can easily play the D string again without any trouble. If I would play an A chord, I would slap below the A string. The next step is to add the first string right after the percussive slap. We play that with our middle finger, blocking the string. So slow motion. And the pluck is just a regular pluck, nothing special about that. Now we've got three notes, the most fundamental part of the technique. Right after the E, we play the thumb again, followed by a regular pluck of the index finger on the G string. And the last note we want to get is the same technique, but now the slap combined with our index finger playing the second string. So the last part is thumb down, index finger up on the third string, and then your index finger is combined with the slap. At first it doesn't have to be that precise, you don't have to hit exactly only the second string, you can just try to hit the third and the second string, which sounds awesome as well. And if 
you want to continue, let's say, who says, we go to a G chord, and then he plays a different set of strings, but the technique stays the same. So let me just play who says, then you can see what my right hand is doing. That technique is used in a lot of songs. This technique can also be applied to the electric guitar, for example in the song Heart of Life. So we're fretting a C sharp major chord over at the 9th fret. On the low E we play fret 9 with our thumb, our ring finger plays on the D string fret 11, our middle finger plays on the G string fret 10, and our index finger plays on the 2nd string fret 9. C sharp. Now we use the exact same technique using different strings. So we play the 6th and the 2nd together, the E and the B. And we play the D string with our index finger and our thumb slaps on the 6th. Then we go back to the 2nd string, the B string. And then we conclude with a thumb, index, and a slap on the sixth, and a flick on the third. So make sure to just fool around with this pattern and change strings according to what you want to hear. Have fun! Okay, and that's it. That's everything I find relevant regarding this particular technique. Now it's time to try it out yourselves. Want more of these lessons? Let me know what kind of technique or artist you want me to discuss in the next video. Good luck, have a great day and see you next time. Bye.